My name is Juan Pablo Macan, and I will present you some results about um, tracking receptor isoform expression in lupus erythematosus patients. Um, this work was done in, in Mendoza, Argentina, um, by CONICET and Hospital Central Mendoza. Lupus is the um, Systemic in lupus erythematosus is a complex disease with um, heterogeneous um, symptoms uh, such as uh, cellulitis, nephritis, and arthritis. And actual therapies uh, are not specific. Uh, in the, they can set in immunosuppressor drugs. Um, now, in the last 10 years, there are, there are, very, there are a lot of antibodies um, antibodies therapy, mainly belimumab that um, target um, growth factors and, and, and surface molecules or lymphocytes that, um, that prevent the uh, autoimmunity and, and control the disease. There are a lot of immunological alterations uh, on B cells, mainly in B cells, but these cells are also involved in, in lupus uh, development. So we, we focus on, on T cell biology and the, the, the aim of uh, our work in, in our lab is to develop a new knowledge on, on T cells that will provide uh, new therapies to, to, to control T cell biology and, and prevent autoimmunity. So there are a lot of uh, um, hormone receptors that, that, that are expressed on, on T cells and B cells and that uh, modulate uh, the immune response. And between them, a protein receptor is one of them. And there are a lot of uh, described isoforms, there, but there are two, the most the two important are there are um, prolactin receptor long isoform and the short isoform. The long isoform is the, the activating uh, receptor, and the long, the short isoform is the, um, the autoregulatory uh, receptor of prolactin. So uh, there are these isoforms are, are um, co expressed in, in the same cells. And they autoregulate. So, the, how they are uh, modulated or autoregulated in, in, in each um, lymphocyte subset uh, are, is unknown and um, 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 is, uh, the, is uh, the, the focus of our work. The focus of, of, our, of this work was to evaluate the expression of prolactin receptor isoform during systemic lupus erythematosus autoimmunity. So methodology, uh, preferable clinical cells from lupus patients and healthy controls um, um, were purified to evaluate an RNA expression of prolactin receptor long and short isoform. Preferable clinical cells were separated by the conventional fecolipac method and um, in cDNA, RNA, and, and real-time PCR were done by conventional protocols. MRI expression levels were performed by uh, an, uh, levels and uh, the analysis of MRI expression levels was performed by the two, two exponential minus delta delta CT analysis between two groups using actin as a reference gene. And the most important uh, results were the relative RNA expression of prolactin receptor uh, on, on patients and controls. The, the first uh, the first graph bar graph uh, is the um, expression of prolactin receptor long isoform. The second is the short uh, and the short one B isoform, and C is the ratio of prolactin receptor long and prolactin receptor short. 1B uh, ratio. This ratio, um, this ratio represents 
to balance between activating over um, the inhibitory uh, function of this pair of uh, isoforms. So a bracket receptor long uh, isoform um, not display in, in patients uh, did not display difference uh, on bracket receptor long isoform be, uh, compared to, to control. The same uh, happened on, on bracket receptor short isoform. But the ratio, the ratio okay, was increased in uh, lupus patients, indicating that the balance between a activatory a activating and inhibitory uh, was uh, increased in, in lupus. So the balance um, biased to the uh, inactivating isoform. So the, then we evaluate the, the correlation between pregnant receptor long and pregnant receptor short isoform, and patients and healthy control display um, a similar uh, co-expression. So uh, when pregnant receptor long isoform is, is expressed in, is highly expressed, the uh, short isoform uh, um, is highly expressed too. So at the conclusion as the use of this uh, bracket receptor long short index could contribute to future declassification of passion, patients with lupus can also be used as a new biomarker. To do this, we, we must evaluate um, um, uh, this is a ratio in, a, in, a, in, in more patients and correlated with the clinical, clinical status of these patients. And no clear access now to now, until now, no clear access in between bracket receptor, long and short uh, index uh, with clinical parameters of the disease uh, were, were, were formed. Thanks you, thanks very much.